Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by WindowsLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the Windows Task Manager to kill an unresponsive program, to take that program that's just not listening to you anymore and shut it right down. Now, most of what I teach is Microsoft Access database design, but this can happen in Access, it can happen in Excel, it can happen with any program. Any program in Windows can occasionally lock up and stop responding. And today's question from Alan in Lafayette, Louisiana, one of my Platinum members, is exactly that. He says, every now and then my Microsoft Access database locks up and stops responding. Sometimes I'm able to close it with the close button, but other times I have no option but to restart Windows. Is there another way that I can shut down Access without having to reboot my system? Yes, Alan, Windows has something called the Task Manager, which has been in Windows since I can remember. Windows 7, at least. Windows NT, I think, had something similar. It's been, a, it's been a while. But all you have to do is open up the Task Manager and then kill the program that is misbehaving. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second, but first, let's make a program misbehave. All right, here I am in my Microsoft Access database, and it's a basic database. You got your customer form, you got your order entry, that kind of stuff. But I got a button right here called Hello World. Now, if I take a look at the code in that button, you can see right here, I've got X equals zero, and I'm saying while X is less than 100, do some stuff, doesn't matter what, and then loop. And as you can see, that X variable is never being incremented, so it constantly stays at zero. That's called an endless loop, right? And this is enough to make my Access database lock up. All right, so let me close this, and I'm going to run this program now, basically, by clicking on the button. Now, nothing appears to be happening, but in the background, that loop is running. And notice, okay, see, look, I clicked, and it says not responding because that loop's just going to keep running and running and running, and it's never going to let Access do its thing. Now, now sometimes with this thing locked up, you could try clicking on the X up here, and there you go. Once in a while, you'll get this message. It says access is not responding. You can restart it. You can close it or wait for the program to respond. In this case, closing it should kill the application, but it doesn't always work. Okay? So this is a case when you can open up the task manager. Now, as with everything in Windows, there's four different ways to open the task manager that I know of. You can either right-click on the taskbar and pick Task Manager. You can press Control Shift Escape. That's one of those keyboard shortcuts that I never remember. You can go Control Alt Delete. That'll bring up the the Windows Control Alt Delete menu, and you'll see Task Manager on that. Or you can click on your Start button and just start typing in Task. That's what I usually do because I always forget the other shortcuts. So just start typing in T A S K. There it is. Task Manager app. Click on that. And this guy loads up. This is the Task Manager. Now up top here, you'll see all the apps that are running. There's tons and tons of stuff down here. Don't go digging through this because you don't want to randomly shut some stuff down and then Windows stops responding itself, okay? But right here, you'll see Microsoft Access, all right? And if you open it up right there, you'll see, oh, there it is, not responding, okay? It's on one of my other monitors and it's still sitting there not responding. So to kill this thing, all you do is right-click on it and go to End Task. And that should shut it right down and it did. Now, I use this thing a lot so I like to pin it to my taskbar, so it's always there. So come right down here, right click, pin to taskbar, and now it will always stay right there. So even if you close it, it's right there. You just click on it, and it'll open right back up again. You don't have to remember any shortcuts or go to your start button or any of that stuff. Now, as a reminder, when you kill that app, any data that wasn't saved is going to be lost, right? So if you were making some modifications to your form or if you're working with Excel and you're making changes in your in your sheet and you haven't saved, okay, whatever changes you made are most likely gonna be lost if you kill that process. So just do this only if you're sure there's no way that that's coming back, right? Sometimes, especially with access, I see a lot of times where people program something like a loop and they don't realize how long it, it's gonna take to run. So it's maybe a 10 minute process and they think after three or four minutes, it's locked up, okay? So that's why I always say, if you got a long process like that, program in something so the user sees something happening, like my status box, right? Also important to back up nightly. You should make sure you're backing up all your files on a regular basis or before you make any big updates. If you're making a huge change, if you're planning on, you know, totally replacing some forms or whatever, well, make a manual backup before you do that. 
Because there's always a possibility that by killing an app like that, you can corrupt the data files. And for access specifically, once you get back into the database, I always recommend do a full compact and repair and do a debug compile once you get back into the VB editor. So that's for access users. And there's lots of other goodies in here. There's performance and stuff you can check on, app histories, startup apps. You can go in here and stop things from starting up automatically with Windows. Like this is my Dymo label software. I don't always have that starting automatically. All kinds of different stuff in here. And I cover the task manager in detail in my full Windows course. But there you go. That is your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want me to post more videos about Microsoft Windows, then be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment down below. Let me know that you want more Windows videos. About 90% of what I teach is Microsoft Access Database Design, but I love teaching Windows, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all those other topics too. But of course, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So if you want more Windows training, make some noise. You can watch my entire Microsoft Windows beginner level one course absolutely free on my website and on my YouTube channel. It's over an hour long and covers all the basics. If you like level one and want to learn more about Windows, visit my website at the link shown and you can get level two, which is another complete hour long course for just one dollar. Level two goes into a lot more depth and teaches you how to get the most out of Windows. Visit my website today for more information. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Windows or any of the other topics I teach like Microsoft Access, Word, Excel, and more, visit my website at windowslearningzone.com.